Alright everybody, here we go. The fourth and final part of my full stack. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick overview real quick of the stack. Of all the coins and rounds that I picked up over the last two and a half years. So, you're, you are looking at approximately, well, yeah, approximately 2,013 ounces. Some of this stuff's fractional, so I think it's like 2013.15 or something like that. But let's get right to it because we've got a lot to go over. We'll start off here in the United States. And I got myself three Morgans. All in good condition. I believe I, when I bought them, they were supposed to be uh, AU. Three-piece dollars. I got myself a roll of Walking Liberties. Walking Liberty halves. These are actually my favorite um, constitutional silver. And I got myself a roll of some really nice uh, uh, Mercury Dimes and a roll of BU 1964 Roosevelt's. This is my first favorite uh, constitutional silver, and this is my second. And I'm definitely uh, going to have to pick up some more of those. Um, I really need to get some more constitutional silver. And you don't have to worry about milk spotting or anything like that with that stuff. So it's a good thing to have. I just have to find some with decent premiums. Um, it's kind of hard for me to uh, find some decent premiums on, on constitutional silver around here. I have $60 in quarters. It's interesting. These are all, I, uh, I bought them as, as a bunch and then I put them in an equal of their, their years. And it's funny, you can see how much uh, silver was wore off the older ones compared to the newer ones. So, right here I got a 2012 Silver Eagle. Interesting fact, this is my very first piece of silver I ever bought. So I just bought one of these and that's actually uh, when silver was, I think around $30 on its way down. And I held off buying um, because I thought I was going to go lower. And so, obviously, I was right. So, I picked up a roll in 13, or a roll in three of the 2013s, two rolls in three of the 2014s, and I picked up four rolls and then an additional uh, 10 of the 2015s. So each year I've been buying more and more Silver Eagles, um, just whenever I find good deals on them. Um, besides my sets of the ATB coins, I picked up an additional 20 of the Great Sand Dunes. Basically two rolls because the mintage on them was so low. And uh, they've been doing really good so far. I believe I picked them up for around 100 bucks a piece. I picked up an additional roll of Bombay Hook um, this year because I thought it was a pretty winning design. and. They, uh, I got those for fairly cheap too compared to what they're going for now. So I'm pretty happy with both of those. Let's go over to Canada, or I guess up to Canada. I got myself two rolls of Canadian half dollars. One is the, the um, 100 year anniversary and one is just the multiple different dates. I got three of the 25th anniversary maples, three of the one and a half ounce polar bears, three of the one the one and a half ounce um, foxes, three of the three quarter ounce timber wolves, five of the buffaloes, then I got three of the birds of prey, the first three, and then I gave up on them because I was so sick, so sick of milk spots. Um, you can see there's there's milk spots on almost all of these. I put I put the best ones up up top. You can see them right there really good. So yeah. Um 
And then I have for the reverse proof privy maples, these are actually my favorite and they don't seem to have the same issues with the milk spots. I have seen some with milk spots, but they're no, nowhere near as prevalent as on the rest of their stuff. So I got the dragon, snake, horse, and goat. Then I got two rolls and three additional, so 53 of the, the new series, the reverse proof with the wolf on them. Those seem to be doing really well already. And then I actually, the um, the reverse proof horse actually bought a hundred of them, so four rolls to go along with the three additional ones I have. And uh, those seem to be doing really well too. So for these, I've decided I'm not gonna be buying any more Canadian um, silver until they get some of their milk spotting issues handled, except for the reverse proof. And I'm even gonna slow down on those, um, just because I don't, I don't wanna deal with those kind of issues. Let's go down to Mexico. I got myself 10 of the 2014, the year that was um, really low, mintage, uh, Libertads, the five ounce Libertads. Um, Scott still had them on sale and I actually did a video and when I picked these up, I got a roll of the 2014 Libertads when I found out, you know, that these mintages were so low. Before that, I've I had I've just been buying three of every year. Um, so I got three of the 2013, three of the 2014, and three of the 2015. As far as the older ounces, I really like these two, but once again, it's hard to get them for a good price. I have one older onza. Let's go to Britain. I have uh, I have three of the 2013. These are so shiny, it's hard to get them. 2013 Britannia. I have six of the 2014 Britannia, and three of the 2015 Britannia. I got a bunch of the goats or uh, the the horses. Um, I got six there, and I got three of the wow. So shiny. Three of the goats. And then I got this from my buddy CCT. He sent this along with uh, my uh, coin slide, which is awesome. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, very, very cool. These, these older crowns are awesome. Um, there's the hundred of the horses I bought. I thought that would be, there's a, a good deal on Jam Bullion, so I picked up a bunch of those when they first came out. And then I have a bunch of the horse privy um, 2014 Britannias. That was a good deal from Jam Bullion when they came out. Um, I won't be buying any more British silver either because I've been having issues with them milk spotting. Um, it's really kind of hard to see. You, there you go, you can see some. Um, these have been milk spotting also on me. Um, anyway, trust me, they've been milk spotting, so I won't be picking up any more of those either. Um, and I'll, luckily I'll be selling those as sealed, uh, sealed um, rolls. Okay, now well, I guess let's go to one of my favorite countries to buy silver from, and that is the um, Australia. So we'll start out with an Atmex exclusive. It is three of the half ounce sharks. Let me see if I can get that in focus. Now, as far as their their um, coins, Perth Mint coins, I was not that impressed with these. Um, I bought them. They seem like, you know, really cheaply made. Um, doesn't have like the frosting on them that I would expect or the quality I'm used to for uh, the Perth Mint. So I'm not gonna be buying any more of those. We have a Philharmonic. Now that isn't from the Perth Mint, but it is. I picked up one of those. Um, here are the kangaroos. You know, everybody bought the 2015 kangaroos. Once again, I really don't think these are up to the standards the Perth Mint normally does. That's because it's just a bullion coin. Um, because as you can see here, they do milk spot. So I'm glad I only got three of these. And I picked up 200, <laughs> 203 of the Saltwater Crocs. I love the design. This was the first year of their uh, 
of the series, and I thought they're going to do really well. Now they did mint a lot of them, um, so they have not done as well as I thought they're going to do. But I do have, you know, I have 203 of them, so I, I got quite a few. Okay, let's go over to the kookaburras. The kookaburras, I have 103 of the 2015 kookaburra. I have 103 of the 2015 kookaburra with the goat privy, and I only have three of the 2016 so far. Um, I do plan on getting some more of those. And the 103, the other ones are all right there. And sealed rolls. Those are all my kookaburras. Well, I guess we're back here. I'll show you all my sealed rolls of the goats. And sealed rolls of the horses. As you can see, I really like the Lunar series, and we'll go to that next. So I got two additional, besides, you know, my, my clutchings I'm holding on to. I got two additional of the half ounce uh, dragon, along with another sealed roll. Of the dragons I got two additional of the snake along with three three sealed rolls of the snakes left got actually 43 of the half ounce um, horses and you see them all piled up right there um, I bought 40 some out of them and they just sent them in baggies and stuff so I never took them out and I got one additional roll right there sealed roll and I got uh, two additional of the the goats on top of the the um, sealed uh, rolls I have over there those are all the half ounce and for the two ounce I have 20 of the two ounce horse I have 20 of the two ounce goat okay then let's go to China I have three of the 2012 13 and 14. I really like the Chinese pandas. Um, they kind of annoyed me in 2015 when they took off the that it was made of silver and the weight. So I probably, you know, in retrospect, I probably might have kept going with the series because I do think they're beautiful designs, but they make so many of them. I mean, they're making 8 million of them um, and they charge quite a bit premium. I do like the new cases that they come in though. Um, when you buy 15, that is really cool. So. I don't know. I might change my mind on start picking up the pandas again. We have the African Wildlife Series. This is a beautiful series. Um, I stopped collecting these because of their milk spotting issues. I know some people said they've never seen it, but on mine, I think you can kind of see out of my six, this one just exploded with milk spots. Look at all that. It's crazy. All the other ones are beautiful, but um, I'm not the only person that's had that problem with them. So any series that has an issue with milk spots, I'm done with. I don't need to be uh, messing with them anymore. So here are the Garris. I got five of the Garris Sopa rounds. Now we're just going to go to the rounds. I got three of the Prospector rounds. Really neat design. It's so detailed. It's pretty amazing. I got one of the five ounce... Uh, Hercules coin. I bought this just when this is when Provident didn't have free shipping. I was gonna get free shipping if I bought it Got three of the year of the Ram rounds three of the year of the horse rounds These are all like really cheap rounds that I just picked up for like 79 cents over spot um, Oh, I forgot my My Fiji Takus. I got three of the 2013 Fiji Takus. I got one of the 2012 five ounce Fiji Taku when they still had the queen on them and then they went to their their um I guess coat of arms I'm not quite sure their their thing but yeah as you can see it's super shiny it's 2013 okay back to these you guys all have seen these before I got the American Landmark series I got three of the Grand Canyon three Liberty Island and then my privateer rounds I actually got three rolls of the of the first one and here is the one I've been toning Still looking really good. It's a natural toning, so it does take some time. It just sits on my desk. But yeah, I think it looks, uh, I actually think it looks a lot better toned. So, 
I saw that one turn out. Then I end up buying three of the the Siren and three of the Captain. So then of course we got Celebate Metals Proof Round. You know, you gotta you gotta have one of those. Good guy here on uh, YouTube. Then I got I actually got this from my friend Coinkeeper when I won a contest. He sent me this as a free uh, gift also. Is actually my logo. Um, not the logo isn't on the coin. It's actually my only color coin I have. The logo isn't on the coin, but my logo is actually Cyberman um, from Doctor Who. I'm really not a big Doctor Who fan. I, I mean, I've watched or whatnot, but um, I just like the fact it was called Nightmare and Silver, and that's why I used it all those years ago. Thought I thought it was a pretty cool uh, logo. So back to Scottsdale. Um, or two Scottsdale. These are the rounds. I picked up three of their uh, reserve rounds. Really cool. Has a nice little security feature. You can move and see the logo and the year. I got three of their Omnia rounds. And then I have ten of their Scottsdale stackers. They have them in two ounce, 100 gram, and five ounce. And I have uh, ten of each of the size. And they just stack right upon each other and that's why they're it's indented right there and uh those are pretty cool and then finally i have my two complete sets of zombucks and i have one of the copper rounds the ones that say copper that are actually silver so i have one of their arrow rounds too so yeah guys uh there it all is, in all of its glory, 2,000 plus ounces. Um, so this year, I'm mainly going to be focusing on uh, picking up some more bars and stuff. But as far as like this type of stuff, I'll obviously be getting the um, Australian stuff, um, the Perth Mint stuff. And probably, I want to get some junk silver. Um, I need some junk silver in my stack. I need some more of it, um, obviously. So... Those are kind of what I'm focused on right now. A lot of the stuff I think make beautiful coins, but I just don't want. I just, I just don't like the fact that um, the coins can't stay in as good a shape as as uh, they should be. So, but yeah, here's my full stack. This is the fourth and final part of it, and it was a lot of work. And I appreciate you guys all uh, tuning in to watch them all. Um, it's been quite the adventure here on YouTube over the last two and a half years, and I do really appreciate everybody that has uh, stuck with my channel and, and watched me and seen me accumulate all this. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and I really look forward to uh, the coming years and, and seeing what happens with the, um, with the silver price, because uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's definitely, we live in interesting times. So, all right, guys, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all you, and I should have some more unboxings soon. Actually, I've had to delay them because uh, I was putting all these videos together. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.